Peace, y'all. So today, I wanted to get into a story about my guy, Mr. Daniel Robinson. Um, It's been a while, and I took the liberty of writing down um, some information that I got from the police report, and I also um, took the liberty of writing down every um, thing that irked me about Roger's statement to the police. So let's get started. So just hearing Roger's police statement made me feel that Roger is the reason why Daniel was missing. I picked up that Roger was the main person trying to paint Dan as weirdo off. Um, they went out to eat. Everything I'm saying here is allegedly. So this is my opinion, my strong opinion, but nevertheless, my opinion. They went out to eat on 621, not 622. I mean, 622, not 621. Um, Roger said that he asked Daniel to go to breakfast, but Daniel usually gets spicy nuggets. And spicy nuggets are only available for lunch and dinner. So breakfast itself was a lie. I believe that when Roger said that Dan was asking a lot of questions that didn't make sense to him, that was his reason or motive. That's why he snapped out, in my opinion. I believe that the arrogant comments from Dan to Roger, that's the way it went. It was from Dan to Roger and not from Roger to Dan. Okay? I believe that um, Roger is Dan's weed supplier and also Kenneth's. So that would be the reason or explain the reason why Kenneth lied for Roger. I believe that Roger is an atheist. I also believe that Roger and Dan were together way more than we know and way more than Roger is saying because um, they are also smoke buddies as well as, you know, his, that's his supplier. So Roger is stuck up from the way he said Dan is a field worker and he's an office worker, so they don't spend much time together. And then he wanted to make sure that the police know that he invited Dan and his sister over for Thanksgiving and gave them his old furniture. But I'm not buying it. It didn't fool me. On 623, after Dan was reported missing, Roger called Dan's phone trying to set a scene of being a great friend or caring. But he knew Daniel was missing then. So why did he do that? Now, I believe it was, it was he was up to something. Um, Roger did not help Dan make his computer. Dan's dad was a computer programmer. Roger wanted to tell Dan how to make it. Roger is the know-it-all type. So any information given about the computer was unwarranted information. Um, it was not asked for. So... I also believe that Roger um, took Daniel's life because he was becoming unhinged and highly and easily agitated because of the death of his father. He lost it and took it out on Daniel. The do you trust him stuff or comments came from Roger to Daniel, not vice versa. I feel like Roger said he has to get rid of Daniel of Daniel and come up with a story instead of he has to get rid of his ego or whatever he said in that police report. So that's it for today. Please like, subscribe. Thank you. Peace.